Hi, this clip is a follow on from a clip I did earlier about understanding about having a guard or having a fence. Both the same things, both mean the same, basically having your hands up, extending your personal space or protecting your personal space. So what I'm going to show you is just a few counters that we can use from the positions that we're going to be using to protect our personal space. None of these are set in stone. You know, if you want to try something different, try something different. Every guy, every person's different. You know, like I said before, I like this stance. I like this stance, maybe, you know, if I want to use it. Also, I like this. Other people prefer this. Some guys will stand like this. You know, this is what they prefer. So I'm going to show you a couple of things. Explain a few things, like I said, nothing's set in stone. Self-protection, it's your own personal protection, what you like to use. There's certain things I'm going to show you that people don't agree on. So I'll talk to you about it and we'll see where we go from there. So the first one I talked about was extending your personal space. Someone's at a distance, coming towards you, you trust your instincts, you feel as though there's a threat. Remember what I said about being always in yellow, always just being aware of your surroundings. Yeah? We're not on a sniper mission, we're just aware of things around us when we walk about. We're not in white, or as the FBI calls it, the victim state, where you see people, they've got their earphones in, they're messing around here with whatever they've got, you know, their um, phone, you know, their iPads or whatever it is, or iPods, or anything like that. They don't even realise there's trouble coming towards them. And if they do get mugged, they tend to say, I didn't even see where the person came from. It came out of nowhere. Yeah? Well, they get beamed down from the Starship Enterprise. Yeah, it don't happen. The reason why they didn't see them, they didn't realise, because they had no awareness. Suddenly, it was happening around them. And from that state, how can you react? So, this is what we're going to talk about. Why we don't like to be in that unless we're sat at home, indoors, everything nice and safe, really chilled. Go outside. We're just in yellow, yeah? We're observing things around us, just taking little notes in, being aware, walking confidently. Something's starting to happen. You just happen to pick up because you're in code yellow. Someone over there, three guys, yeah? And then suddenly one walks towards you. Yeah, suddenly you've gone orange. Yeah, you're aware of the situation. What can we do about it? Can we deal with it? Of course we can. Guys coming towards us, we're in orange. Bang. We're going to extend our personal space. So, from here, what can we do? Well, obviously, it depends on how the guy's approaching you and how the threat is coming towards you. If a guy's already angry, yeah, he's in a state, coming towards you, Oi, mate, I was talking to you, weren't I? Hey? And then as he comes forwards, he then does this. You imagine a guy walking towards you and he's going down here. What do you think he's going for? Yeah? Your guess is as good as mine. I don't know what's concealed down there, yeah? But he, you know, it's not going to be nice. So to be honest, from this sort of fence, the best way to sort that out is at distance, if, if you can. Now some people don't agree with this, but I'll explain. So I'm from here, and I'm going to put something in. See, you will see it coming, obviously. But my hands are up. Mate, I don't want trouble, I don't want trouble. He's walking towards me. Yeah, I can see him going through. Oh, please, mate, oh, bang! And I'm going to use my feet at distance. Yeah? I'm going to use a quite a strong, debilitating kick into him. So if I do it on here, yeah, and this isn't moving, yes, yeah, because he hasn't got, this hasn't got any forward momentum, so it's going to be pretty static, but look at the power that I try and generate. So my hands are up here, I'm trying to tell him, look mate, he's going for something, from here, bang, go straight in. Now, what I do is either, if possible, run, but if there isn't a situation where I can get myself out of it, I follow up, yeah? Because this is the argument. The danger is, if you've hit this guy, and he's gone backwards, and he's injured, but can still reach, if he's carrying a weapon, a gun, draws the gun on you, you're in a whole world of trouble. But it's probably better to deal with that problem at distance than it is, and he gets hold of you, and then draws the gun, yeah? So, straight away, if you can, and like you say, if you, if you don't see it, if you're not expecting it, you won't see it coming because my hands are up, 
Yeah, I'm using my voice. So this guy's looking at me in the eyes and my hands, and from there, mate, I don't want trouble, please, I don't want trouble. And in, it's into him. Yeah, one more time. From here, my hands are up. I don't want any trouble, mate, please. Look, boom, it goes in. So, good way of sorting a problem out with your fence at distance. After that, if he touches your hands, brings your hands down, yeah, you can use your back hand with a palm strike, or even, as he's coming into you, use your front hand as a finger strike, yeah? But I don't want to complicate things, yeah? Remember what I said, a small amount of tools in your toolbox to deal with the situation. So you've got to play it how you want to play it. You know, guys come in, your hands are really in your face, as he comes in, you just sink that straight into him. Look, I still keep my other hand up, yeah? I don't do that, boom. Still got my two guards up ready, yeah? Because you might, I might miss, might go over the top of his head, but then I can come in with this. So, that's that one. The other one I talked about was this. Guy's right into you, yeah? He wants to talk to you, yeah? Yeah, I saw you looking at me, mate, yeah? And you're this far away. Yeah, you can smell his breath, might be speaking a bit, you know? Yeah? I'll tell you, mate, I'm fed up with you. Yeah? What are you going to do? Put your hands up like this. Yeah, mate, look. You know, all right, man, I'm sorry. I'm trying to talk my way out of it. But if I can't, where am I going to go? What I've done straight away is turn slightly. So I don't want to expose my groin to him. You know, guys in my face, I've got my fence up, but he's there, there, boom. Puts one straight into me, yeah? So, from this situation, I just turn slightly, and I'm listening, but I'm covering. I've even turned my head slightly. Yeah, I'm covering with this. Shoulders come up, mate, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm listening, but from here, yeah? If I've got a strike, I've got to use this. From here, I would drop, as we said, moving forwards, bang, into the groin. From here, bang, into the groin. If I do it on here, so I'm here, look what this hand does. I'm here, and as I'm talking, I've made a decision. I've got to hit him. From here, boom. From here, bang. From here, bang. From here, bang! Yeah? See how this moves. If I was this way round, obviously you're only going to see the back to me, I'm here, this hand would move forward into him. Mate, I don't want trouble, and that would go in. I don't want trouble, boom! And I drop step, make it more powerful. And of course, follow up with what I'm going to do. Also, my hand's up here. He might turn slightly himself. So then the groin shot's out. If he's like this, and suddenly, he does this, he's gearing up to punch. You know, he might be in the face here. You know, well anyway, you were looking at me, I know you were looking at me. Turns like this, he's going to hit you. Yeah? So there's a situation, you've got to beat him to the punch. If your hands are up here, he's turned, groin shot ain't going to work, but you're going to look at this hand maybe. Yeah? Hammer fist into his jaw. Yeah? Or even a chop into the side of the neck. And you can do it quick. You know, you imagine he's squared up to you. You're stood here, you try and he goes to turn, bang! From here, boom! Yeah, and you're in. So from here, as he comes in, um, as he moves, he's chalking them up, I don't want trouble, boom! Yeah, you're in. Or, as I said, hammer fist. From here, bish! From here, bish! Look how quick it is. You know, my hands up, mate, I don't want trouble, I've turned. He goes to hit, bang, bang! And then you're into him. Yeah? You understand? So, but these are just things that you can work with. Like from here, an eye striper. It's up to you. You know, from here, watch this. He's talking to you, mate. I don't want trouble. Bang. Look where it's gone. Boom. Straight away. Boom. Straight into his face. Bang. It's all things that you can work on from the fence. Remember this one? Here. You know, the guy's talking. You know, you're listening. In fact, you'll be going to be worried. Yeah, you're from here. I'll show you. I'm going to use a side strike, yeah? But it's quite a big movement, yeah? So from here, I'll be here. You can do all sorts of things. You can, mate, please, you know, ooh, you know, ooh, there anyway. But this is going to drop and hit. So from here, mate, yeah, I don't want trouble. Bang! Thank my boom, boom, that, mate, oh, yeah, boom! And you see it like this. I'm here, I'm listening. It's quite close. Mate, I, d I don't know what I've upset you. I don't, I don't really. Bang! 
straight like that. Oh, you know, whoa, mate, please, please. Wolf a dunk! Yeah, and you hit. Yeah, using the either the palm of your hand here, the heel, or you cut the hand to make this sort of noise into the ear. And the areas you're hitting are the jaw, yeah, side of the ear. You know, this is a debilitating strike, but you've got to do something. You know, from this position, it's no use doing this. <laughs> Dropping my guard, everything. Yeah, my guard's kept up. I might do this, I might do that, I might just go boom. But that's how it works. So these are just little things we can work with from the fence. Yeah, play with them, mess around them, do them yourself, have a couple of tricks in your own book. So from here, if I'm here and the guy's straight and I need to deal with it from here, bang, boom. Yeah, if I'm this way, bang. If he's turned slightly and I can't get to the grind, I've seen the turn, from here, bang, boom. Yeah, nice and quick. Yeah, from here, like I said before, here, mate, I don't want trouble, bang. Yeah, and of course, distance, that, sorry, distance is that, or that, or that, whatever you want. You understand? I hope you do. I hope this has helped. And like I say, none of this is set in stone. I've shown you the pluses and the minuses, putting a kick in. If you kick, the guy goes backwards. If you don't either get out of there as quick as possible, you know, or get on top of him, that guy's got a weapon, a gun. He then pulls it and shoots you because you've, for want of a better word, piss the guy off. You've got to make sure that kick goes in hard and then you follow up with other attacks until that threat has been nullified. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little clip. It goes on a little bit, but there's a lot to get through. Uh, next clip I'll show you some uh, other little things that you can do, you know, to um, uh, misdirect, things like that, your hands are up. Things like the guys in your face, and yeah, you can cough you know, <coughs> and then hit. All these little things, yeah, just little tricks. Once you've got them in your toolbox, you can use them if you want. It's entirely up to you. Anyway, I hope that helps. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, as I've always say, use whatever you want out of these, but keep yourself safe. All the best.